Hello and welcome, my name is EVS Gaming, and you are watching episode 17 of my Pokemon Moon Egglock. Um, just before we head off uh, to continue our journey up through Lula Island today, we are just going to have a quick rundown of the team. Uh, I have done a little bit of off screen training um, just to help uh, level up the Pokemon to um, continue keeping the Nuzlocke sort of um, not too difficult. And uh, we don't want to lose too many Pokemon, so I have done a little bit of grinding. And as you can see, a few of the Pokemon in our team have evolved. So welcome to the team Mimikyu. Um, Cameron, our Mimikyu, has joined the team um, to replace one of our RIP Pokemon. Um, we also replaced um, Bunnelby, which as training him up, he has evolved into Diggersby. Um, Mag... Uh, Magnetrite, uh, Magnetite, we, um, oh sorry, Magnetrix, um, is now on our team, so our Bolt did evolve whilst levelling up, and we now also have a Mega on our team, as Bolt was holding the Manic Trite, I believe that's what it's called. So without further ado, let's head straight out and continue our journey on Ula Ula Island. We will be heading off to speak to Lily over here. Devious, would you mind if I ask you something? Yes, I want to take ne Nebi to visit Ula's, Ula Ula's ruins, but they are located deep in a large desert. I, I don't want to ask too much of you. Right now, I'm planning to visit Malay Library. There's a book that I want to look for there. Maybe you'd even be willing to help me. I know that Mali Library is here within this city of Mali somewhere. Even I should be able to find it. I can do this. Pew! So, Lily is off to the library. We are going to grab this by yourself. And follow her also to the library. I do apologise for my voice, guys. I do have a bit of a cold at the moment. Um, hopefully it will be gone in the next few days. Why, hello there, Rogom. Are you feeling nice and comfy in that in that Pokedex of yours? Never better. Z oh, well, hello there. Good to meet you. I'm Oak. Samson Oak. I'm a Pokemon researcher and I'm here into the region... I'm here... And I'm looking into the regional variants found around here. And you must be devious, huh? Young Kukui mentioned you to me. Rotom, you sure to help this fine young boy on his trip around the islands, all right? Why do you, th why do you, th who do you think you're talking to? Zzz. Of course I'm doing that. And you, Devious, I'll be trusting you to keep Rotom safe as well. The young fellow from Kalos who invented that Pokedex put a lot of work into it. And as much love and care as any parent. I'll be in the Mali Library if you ever need me. Feel free to stop by and chat anytime. If you have trouble finding the library, just follow the Black Brick Road. Meaning the patterns are on these paths, of course. Black Circle, Black Triangle, Black Square. Follow the pattern and you'll get there. So a nice little rhyme there to remind us where the library is. Which is literally straight up. So we don't need to worry about getting lost. So let's head straight to the library. Devious. I'm sorry, I ended up getting lost again. I wandered around completely lost until I ducked into an apparel shop. And then I saw this outfit and they said it was the last one they had in stock. So I bought it. Even though I don't think I'd ever have the guts to wear an outfit like it. Huh. But the woman working at the store did tell me where to find the library, so I guess you could say it was for all for the best. The li library was actually right past the apparel shop if I just kept going. Nay! Yikes! Devious, been a while, friend. Looks like your island challenge is coming along favourably. That must be pleasing to the tapu. So oh, Devious, who might this be? Oh, hello, my name is Lily. My apologies if Mudsdale spooked you just now. Doesn't seem like like you're a trial goer. What are you up to? Oh, I'm actually um, studying the Tapu's ruins for various reasons of my own. 
Well, that's some fine initiative. I'd be happy to go. I'd be happy to, happy to show you the way wherever you'd like to go. Well, now here is sturdy as a look it get. Out she she can easily carry two. Thank you for your offer. Shall we check out Mally Library first though, since we're here? Why not? Let's do that right now. So we're going to head into Mally Library. We are going to speak to this lady at the table because I think she has a little surprise for us. And then we'll join Lily upstairs to help her find the book she is looking for. So let's just give a quick chat to this lady. I came all the way from Johto to visit Alola. It is true. You can't fly. You can't use fly to fly around here. Yes, it is. Wow. So it's a really, really a thing. This really is a whole different region. But then how do folks in Alola fly around? On Charizard. Wow. So everyone just rides around on special Charizards that they've been using for the job. Sounds weird if you ask me, but I've got to admit that riding on a Charizard would be a blast. Thanks for teaching me about how things are here in Alola. Here, you might as well have this. So we have received TM76, which is fly. So we do have another TM we can teach to Pokemon if we so desire. Um, however, there's no one in our team that can learn fly at the moment. So we don't need to worry about it too much. Must be a very valuable book, so I'm not sure if I'm able to take it out of the library. Is this what you're looking for, princess? Give it a read. Oh, of course. Well, it's titled The Light of Alola. I'll just um, read it out loud, shall I? Why not? The empty sky broke asunder, a hole appearing where had been none. A single beast appeared from in it. It was named the beast that caused the moon. The king of Alola bowed before it, the beast that stole all heaven's light. The island guardians fought against it. In the end, they lost the fight. Then did the beast that brings the dark cast its pow on the light line of kings. So would the beast that had won mark the path for all such fin finished things. Beast of sun and beast of moon, through their union they brought new life. A fragile heir in Alola born, the island guardians would keep from strife. The ancient king sang their thanks. For Lunala with song on flute. Two tones rang out across the altar, a perfect pair even after mute. Isn't it great? My dad's books are all great. What? I mean, yes, it is. But when you say your father, isn't this book very old? Yeah, it belonged to my dad. I know I don't look it, but my family used to be pretty much royalty. I had to have all my dad's books moved here so they didn't get ruined by the Pokemon. I can tell you lots of old, other old stories about Alola too. You interested? Well, that would be wonderful. I would be delighted if you did. I think I'll stay here, but I know why you've come to Ula Ula. You'll be undergoing another trial, won't you, Devious? Good luck with it. I read that Ula Ula's island's electric type trial can only be reached by the bus on Route 10. So we are now going to make our way to Route 10 to catch a bus to the next trial. However, we will be catching some Pokemon and meeting some trainers along the way. So we may not get to the trial in this episode. However, let's run into the grass and catch, see if we can catch a Pokemon to add to our team. And we have run into a wild gum juice. So let's hit this guy with a couple of aqua jets and then we will try and put it to sleep. 
Oh, quite doing a fair bit of damage. Should be able to take a few of those. Muzzlap doing little to none. We do get an accuracy drop, however. It's not an issue, we broke through it with the Aqua Jet. So let's put this thing to sleep now. And then we will try and throw some balls and see if we can catch it. Gumshoot is going to call in for some help. Luckily it hasn't appeared. Let's try one more sing. And there we go, we hit it with a sing this time. That is going to put it to sleep and make it a little easier to catch. So let's throw some balls at this. gum shoes and see if we will be adding another Pokemon to our team. One, two, three, and we did it. So we will be adding another Pokemon to our team. Don't forget you can be named after the Pokemon in this Let's Play just by answering one simple question, which is the question of the day. Uh, today's question of the day is, uh, what is your favorite like rock form? So with the announcement, or the leaks of the new um, Pokemon Lycanroc form for Ultra Sun and Moon. I would like to know what is your favourite Lycanroc form. Um, so if you would like a chance to be named after one of the Pokemon, just answer that question in the comments below. And uh, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to smash the like button. So let's continue on here now. We'll run back to the Pokemon Center. We do not need to name gum juice. Let's run back to the Pokemon Center and throw this gum juice into the PC. Let's just trade out uh, or wab it for our team quickly. And leave the leftovers on our wab it as uh, we will not be keeping the gum juice on our team for very long. So we are just going to run back to the Pokemon Center and Pop him into the PC and see who we will be adding to our team. I do have a nickname already for Oh, do we I think we may have two Pokemon we need to uh, trade. Did I forget about a Psyduck from a previous episode? I will double check that before the next episode and if so we will trade him also but for now I am just going to drop Gumchoose into box 9 so Gumchoose is level 25 so that's what we will be leveling up our next Pokemon to and we are going to pick um, row 4 Pokemon 4 for box 9 so let's take a step and hatch this Pokemon And see who we could add to our team. We'll probably end up putting him back in PC for now. And we will be adding Minior. We will be adding Minior to our team, guys, which is pretty cool. So let's give this guy a cheeky little nickname. We do indeed want to give this Pokemon a nickname, and we are going to call it Look. Look like after one of my subscribers and regular viewers of my streams. So, welcome to the team, Look like whether I am going to pop you back in the PC just after we have leveled you up to level 25. So let's do that now quickly. So, and then we'll just have a quick look at his moveset before we move on. So 
to route 10 and take on some trainers to make our way to the next trial. I was getting a little click happy and I've replaced the move there. I don't know which move I have replaced. Oh no, looks like Luke didn't have many moves to begin with, so he has learned a rollout and confuse ray. So we'll check his uh, moves and stats. Well, we can do that now. So we have tackle, defense curl, rollout, and confuse ray. So I'm going to replace tackle with swift. And we just need to. Level up a few more levels before dropping this guy back into the PC. We will definitely be learning H and Power. Instead of Defense Curl. Just a few more levels. Five more. Four. Three. We definitely do not want to learn self-destruct. Two. One more level. And there we have it. So we have leveled up Luke like to level 25. And if we just quickly have a look at his stats. So he is holding a beast ball. Um, but we will take the beast ball from Luke Mike uh, and we'll have a quick look. So, as we said, he has Swift, Ancient Power, Rollout, Confuse Ray. He has um, the mm, Shields Down ability. When its HP becomes half or less, the Pokemon shell breaks and becomes aggressive. So he gets an, I think he gets a defense drop and an attack boost when that happens. Um, he is a naive nature. And we hatched him in Malay City. So welcome to the team, Luke. Sadly, we are going to pop you back in the PC till you are needed later on. And we will bring out our Wabbit back onto the team as we head to Route 10, where we can also grab another Pokemon to add to our team if we so desire, which we all, of course we do. Let's hop on to Tauros to make this a little quicker. So I am going to make my way We are going to fight Firefighter Alex. He is our first trainer. We will be taking on Firefighter Alex. He has a Poliwell, which is pretty convenient. Being a fire firefighter must come in handy having a water Pokemon. Let's switch out into Bolt and maybe uh, let's use our first mega evolution of the series against this poly well we get hit with body slam and he gets a crit and for some reason we can't mega evolve yet so let's of course we can't we don't have the mega ring we won't receive the mega ring till the end of the let's play so that is not a problem. We will still use Bolt against this guy. And we'll hit him with a Discharge. It should wreck this Poliwell. Ah, so my mistake there. I forgot about having to receive the Mega Ring in Pokemon Sun and Moon before you can actually use the Mega Pokemon. But hopefully, we will keep him for a later date anyway. 
you know, then, yeah, fine birds. Get in the tree. I will run from this battle. Actually, no, I won't, because this is our encounter for Route 10. So we definitely will not be running. In fact, we need to try and catch this. So let's straight off the bat throw a quick ball and see if we can capture this thing. And sadly, it's not working for us now. So we're going to have to do this the old fashioned way and whittle down this Fero. And catch it. Oh, Fury attacks doing a fair bit of damage, but I think we'll survive. We have. Fero is going to call in a friend. His help didn't appear, thankfully. So let's heal up our Rachel with a super potion. We don't want to lose anyone today. Assurance. Not doing a great deal of damage. So let's hit this guy with one more Aqua Jet and then we will try and put this Fero to sleep, which will make this a lot easier to catch. And hit with the Fury Attacks again. Hitting four times this time. So let's use a Sing. Oh, we get hit with Aerial Ace. And we get the Sing off, which is fantastic means it will make this Fero a lot easier to catch. So let's do that now. Let's use a great ball. Let's see if we can catch this Fero. And there we have it guys. We will be adding a, another Pokemon to the team. So if you would like to be our, uh, named after this Pokemon, don't forget to answer that question of the day as I will um, pick people from the comments um, to name after Pokemon in this Egglock. So we won't run back to the Pokemon Center just now. We will wait until we get probably the beginning of next episode to pop this guy into the PC and find out who we will be getting to add to our team. So let's move on. There is a Zygarde cell just here. And we have some Team Skull Grunts we need to take on before to round up this episode. We will take on the Team Skull Grunts. Who are blocking our way to the bus stop? It's just like being back at school, the bullies at the bus stop. But we will show these bullies who's boss. So Rachel is in a bad shape, so let's switch her out um, for who is going to be good against this. There we go. Let's switch her out for Wabbit, who has some super effective rock type moves. Make some light work. We do get hit by the poison. Hopefully that won't affect us too much. We do have a leftover which will give us some life back. So not too worried there. So let's hit this guy with some rollouts. Hopefully we can finish him off pretty quickly.
hopefully we don't lose one bit here. Could be a possibility with the poison. Hopefully we can hold on. I think that is going to make all the difference. That goal back missing the air cutter there, I think, has just saved our wabbit. That was a very risky play using the rollout, obviously, that we get stuck using that move. But it has paid off this time, and we have defeated the Team Skull Grunt and not lost any of our Pokemon. Looks like we gotta fight the next one. Dang, I lost. Then my homie's gotta fight you. That's just life in Team Skull. We stand up to even the strong, yo. We stand up, but not for long, yo. So we are taking on number two of the Team Skull Grunts blocking our way to the bus stop. And we will wrap up this episode on defeating this guy. And he has a Rotacate. So, who are we going to use against this Rotacate? Is a dark type Pokemon. Let's switch into. Let's have a look at reverse. <coughs> do excuse me, guys. I do have a cold at the moment. So let's switch into. Um, let's switch into Grizzius and then maybe use him to heal up other Pokemon and take some hits. Yeah, Crunch not doing too much damage there, so let's use a Hyper Potion on Wabbit. And then let's switch out to Wabbit and hit this Raticate with a double kick for the super effective damage that he will do. We take that pretty well. We will get a little heal from the leftovers, but take a bit of damage from the poison. But let's take on this guy with the double kick is it going to take us two hits to knock this eradicate out but it does look like we are faster so we are all good So let's hit him with another double kick. Finish off this thing, goal, Skull Grunt, and finish off this episode. So there we have it, guys. We have made it through Route 10 on our way to the next trial, which will be the Electric Trial on Ula Ula Island. Um, a massive thumbs up for this video if you've enjoyed it. Um, big hype for all the Pokemon that we have on our team now. I'm really loving the team we've got with all our evolved um pokemon um diggers b uh wabbit our diggers b has been pretty helpful this uh, this episode so let's hope that continues and our team flourishes and grows as we enter the next stage of our journey 
What's going on? Some T's gold punks just ran past me going in the other direction, yeah? I sure wish they'd challenge the league instead of getting up to no good all the time. The league? Ho ho, you'll find out soon enough. Just wait, cousin. But first things first, if you want to head up Mount Hokulani, Hokulani we should take the bus. It'll, it'll be a blast up there to the top. Yeah, as quick as a sky uppercut. And that is where I am going to leave it today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. As I said before, if you would like to be named after one of the Pokemon in the Egglock, just comment on the question of the day, which today is, which is your favourite Lycan Rock form? Um, so I won't keep you any longer. I hope you have enjoyed today. Um, I will see you next time. Ta-ta for now.